And welcome. We are in 303, and we turn now to uh, Mr. Conrad's Unstoppable Volume, Lesson Chapter 16. Lesson 16. Uh, we're going to now uh, comment real briefly in your journals on this focus. The challenge of being different from others is essential often in the marketplace. Let's write that down. In the marketplace. The marketplace of money, the marketplace of ideas, the marketplace of the spirit. Let's take a look in chapter 16, a word picture that I think for some of us we will resonate with. A few months later, uh, uh, um, I'm, I'm now reading on, on page 49 of your volume. A few months after our infamous YMCA dance, Travis Dove, the first to stand that day, came to ask me a question. He wanted to know how much I would pay to have my yard mowed. I explained to Travis I enjoyed mowing my yard. Besides, I get to pretend I'm the mower and the grass is all my students, I joked. When I asked Travis, what's up? He told me he wanted to start his own lawn mowing business. That's when I shared an idea with Travis that I'd kept a secret since high school. First, I quizzed Travis to see if he remembered the YMCA dance. How could I ever forget, was his response. Do you remember who stood up first that day, I continued. I did, he recalled. That's right, Travis. You were the first, and that's why I think you would have the guts to try a gimmick. Then I asked him what he was going to do to set his business apart from the rest, which is, of course, the key in the marketplace, right? He said he was going to run an ad in the newspaper. So will everyone else, I said. I'm going to do a great job mowing, and I'll sweep the sidewalks, was his next comment. So will everyone else, I said. Eventually, Travis exhausted all his ideas and said, I don't know. Well, I do, I explained. That's when I told Travis my secret idea. It's called formal lawn care. You dress in a full tuxedo, top hat and all. You put a sign in each yard while you're mowing that reads, Formal Lawn Care. With a touch of class, we cut your grass. What do you think? I asked. Travis thought for a second and said, I like it. I told Travis that the day he stood up first for the YMCA dance was the day that he impressed me. He didn't worry about what other people thought. Most of the other kids in his class would never have had the courage to be different or to be themselves. They're all looking to fit in, to be a part of the group. In the world of business, different isn't just good. It's essential. Read it again with me. This is hypercritical for your future in the business world. In the world of business, different isn't just good. It's essential. Travis spent weeks gathering up a tux. He went to the thrift store and found pants. He visited yard sales and found a shirt. He bought a jacket at the bargain bar. He was so excited the day he found a top hat in all matches, he boasted. Next day, uh, I'm sorry, next came the moment of truth. His first yard to mow would be mine, but before that, we had to make a deal. I asked Travis what it would cost him to run an ad in the back of the newspaper. He said, about 50 bucks. Then I asked him what an ad on the front page would cost. He started at $100. He stopped guessing when he reached $1,000. The correct answer, I explained to Travis, was no amount of money would get his ad on the front page. That's not what the front page is for. I will get your ad on the front page, I told Travis. All it's going to cost you is your time. I'm going to let you mow my yard for free. Say that again, a, conf a confused Travis said. You heard me, I said. I'm going to let you use my mower. I'll fill it with gas in exchange I'll not only get you on the front page of the newspaper, I'll get you on local TV. Just show up at my house with your tuxedo and sign at 5 p.m. I had to laugh when I saw him in his tux for the first time. I was thinking how outrageous all this was as Travis started the mower. I live on the main street of town and my yard is eight city lots. It's huge. I knew Travis would get plenty of attention. I just didn't expect there would be cars crashing into each other. Seriously, it almost happened. Some drivers stopped in the middle of the street. Others honked their horns. Everyone waved as they slowed to a crawl to watch this boy in the tux. A friend of mine, Vicky, called our house to ask if we knew there was some guy mowing our yard in a tux. In the midst of this pandemonium, I called the newspaper. I said, some dude is mowing a yard on Yampa Avenue in a tux. You've got to check it out. He's stopping traffic. The newspaper said they would be, right, uh, be there right away. My next call was to the local TV station. I gave them the same line. I gave the newspaper. When I finally got back outside, what a sight. The photographer from the newspaper was snapping shots of Travis. The TV crew was chasing him around with the camera. Cars had pulled off to the side of the street. People were standing on the sidewalk pointing at him. The whole time, Travis just kept mowing like I just told him. 
in his little tuxedo and top hat. His, senior, his sign in the yard said, formal lawn care. We cut the, we got the class to cut your grass. The next day, on the front page of the Craig Daily News was a picture of Travis. The picture was about one quarter the size of the front page. It was gigantic. The best part was the caption which read, we've got the class to cut your grass. Travis Dove, a senior at MCHS, takes a formal approach to lawn care yesterday afternoon at Craig Conrad's home on Yampa Avenue. Dove and Conrad came up with the idea in one of Conrad's Friday stories about the breaking the chains of inhibition. I figured he'd have the initiative to try a gimmick, said Conrad. Dove said he charges between a, uh, 10 and $15 to cut a lawn, depending on the, uh, the size. He plans to continue his business through the summer. Mowing lawns in a tuxedo was kind of hard, but not that bad, said Dove. That article, along with a television interview, got Travis's phone ringing off the hook. Eventually, Travis called me in a panic. Mr. Conrad, he said in desperation, I can't handle all the lawns. I'm getting Travis, I said, hire some kid to help you and pay him $10 and charge the customer $15. You can make $5 and go drink lemonade. Now, let's, let's just write a couple of notes really quickly in our journals as we point out this interesting word picture. First one is the word, let, let's write it down, innovation. Write that word down. This is an important word for us as students and as future entrepreneurs. Innovation. We have to be innovative both in life as well as in business. It comes when you think what we call outside the box. When you think about how everyone else is going to do it, and then you think, I might try and do it a little bit differently. In other words, dare to be different. This is an interesting question. Let's write it down. How will you be different in your life of business? And by the way, all our lives are lives of business, right? All our lives are lives of business, right? Uh, the first, of course, thing you have to sell in your life and in your business is yourself, yes? In yourself. You have to be confident enough, right, to try something that would get other people to say, wow, I, I, I think this person is quite remarkable. There's that great story, let's write it down, uh, Book, Booker T. Washington's famous autobiography, Up From Slavery. He desperately needed a job. He walked into a, 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 a small place and said, I will do anything. And the man said, sweep the floor. And he walked out. And Washington says, I swept it. And then I looked at it and I said, I know I can do better. And I swept it a second time. And then I looked at it one more time and said, I think I could probably even do it one more time even better. And swept the floor one more time. By the time the man walks back in, he says, you're hired. That idea that you always go above and beyond, that you always do a little bit more in business, this will be the ticket to ride. And this is, of course, the point of our story. How will you stand apart? It's an interesting question. Go ahead and write it down because I want you to at least begin to think about it. Mr. Conrad challenging us to think about how will you be different? How will you stand out in your life of business, which is, of course, your life? Add a touch of class to your personality is the challenge here. Make yourself somehow a little bit different as you stand out. And each one of you kind of thinking about that one as you go forward, right? Okay, there you go, guys. Lesson 16. Thank you.